Yesterday, I went to Aldi and got all of the knockoff brands. Not all of them. I got 15 to be exact. We're gonna be testing the Aldi brands versus the name brands. La la la. We're going to be doing mac and cheese first of all. Boxed mac and cheese to be exact. I just keep looking at the camera, then at Lucas. Sorry for that. Aldi brand Cheese Club was 34 cents and Kraft was 99 cents. This one needs a second bite. This is really tough because when I taste original Kraft Mac and Cheese, it just reminds me of my childhood. But then when I taste Cheese Club, it's a new flavor that is so delicious, but I'm just not used to it. So it's not an exact dupe? No, um, I was thinking that these like were both made in the same factory and like they just had different boxes. You know how people say stuff like that? Oh yeah, just different branding, exact same formulation. Yeah. The ingredients are a little bit different. If you look at them though, this Kraft mac and cheese is way more wet than the Audi mac and cheese and I made them the exact same. Pour in the fake cheese, pour in some milk. Actually, we had, didn't have milk, so I used whipping cream. For this one, I'm going with Kraft because it's familiar to me. And the taste is just so delicious. So double the price was double the flavor. Yeah, for this one, I guess price models. La la la. Now we have Lunchables. The Audi one was $2.49 and the original Lunchable is $1.89. So this is the situation where I'm just confused. Isn't Audi brand supposed to be cheaper? But it's not. Maybe with Audi brand you get more calories and calories is energy so you're paying more, you know? But no, this one has 270 calories and this one has 330. So it's not like you're getting any extra. I like, I thought the whole point of this video was like, is the cheaper alternative tastier, you know? You have to give it to them though, like making a knockoff and making it more expensive. That's a power move. And, and I bought it. So like, at the end of the day, like their power move is working on me. Of course, all of us love Lunchables. I haven't had one recently, but Lunchables are, you know, they're always gonna have a place in my house. So the Aldi Lunchable has these little cookies as the dessert and the original one has Oreos. Oh, I think they're knockoff Oreos actually. Let's start with the Aldi. Buttery crackles, some like fake ham, some fake cheese. It tastes exactly like the original. <laughs> this is like in the future when you're um, hanging out with your family over virtual virtual reality and you forget what it's like being with them in real life you know does that make sense the comparison oh like the your family in virtual reality the metaverse yeah, this is virtual reality. maybe this the is... knockoff yeah i mean damn it i'm gonna dig in with the dessert now mm, those cookies are good mm, the oil is good too so did the aldi one taste more high quality because it was more expensive <sighs> No, it's that plain and simple, no. Thing about it is I'm forced to vote for the original Lunchable because it's cheaper. If this Audi one was like 50 cents cheaper, I'd actually vote for it because it's basically the same shit. But I'm voting for Lunchable because it's cheaper and it's the original thing. Lunchable, congrats, you did it again. I don't know what you did the first time, but I'm just gonna say again. F you, Aldi. Don't say that, that's mean. Like, don't do that deep of cut, you know? There's Sorry. no need for that in All this right. loving space. La la la. This one's kind of um, for a niche audience, chocolate almond milk. This isn't chocolate cow titty milk, chocolate almond milk. $1.79 for Aldi versus $2.18 for the original almond milk brand Silk. This, I feel like this is so intense of a knockoff brand. They look so similar. This is what people are talking about when they say knockoff brands. What's the difference? There's nothing. So unfortunately the brand Silk doesn't have normal chocolate, they only have dark chocolate. Um, if you were wondering why they don't have normal chocolate, it's because they saved normal chocolate for the protein brand of almond milk, if you cared. I think they just add like pea protein to it or some shit. If I had to guess, I, I feel like these are gonna be identical. I'm drinking out of the jug because I asked Lucas if this was in your fridge, would you drink it even though you knew I drank out of the jug? And he said he would. So 
if I bring it to like my parents house like I feel like they'd still drink out of it Oh, I could just keep it a secret that I didn't drink out of the yeah. jug, you know? It also, helped. um, our dad always drinks out of the jug. So if he doesn't have respect for you, I would do have respect for him But he gave both to me. He didn't give both to me, but like, you know what he did? I mean that didn't take much work from him. I know that's true. It's mostly our mom that put in the work <laughs> Something about chocolate almond milk so good. Weirdly, this chocolate kind of tastes like uh, dark chocolate. <laughs> Maybe I eat too much sweets, and at this point, milk chocolate is dark chocolate to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dig into this one. Okay. This dark chocolate, if you're wondering, kind of tastes the same as this normal chocolate at Aldi. Uh. Friendly Farms, the Audi brand, you're being friendly to me, you're cheaper, you taste the same, so you're winning. Audi has won! I'm, wait, I was about to say I'm rooting for Audi, but I'm not rooting for anyone. Oh, that, I almost caught myself in a lie. I felt like I was, I was like a political commentator, but I was working for like a network that was in the middle. And then I said like, I'm rooting for Mary Poppins. Let's just say she was like the Republican. Oh yeah. And then like, it ruins my whole thing, you know? You gotta stay unbiased. Unbiased third party. La la la. Now we have pizza rolls. Oh, pizza snacks, <laughs> as the knockoff brand calls it. Pizza snacks from Aldi are $5.49 and actual pizza rolls are $3.99. Do you get more at the Aldi though? It looks bigger. Yeah, we have to keep in mind with this one you get. How many servings? 15 servings. Both of them, the solving size is six, so this is actually equal. And this one you get eight solving. So you actually get double with the Aldi brand. So if we did the math right now, um, Aldi brand is cheaper. Mama Cozies. Oh, see, they have so many random brands. Uh, if we're just looking at them, pizza snacks from Aldi look way bigger. Okay, let's pop one in my mouth. Taste them right now, Lucas. <sighs> I was waiting for you to ask it. Mmm. <laughs> this is identical. You guys can eat one too. Okay, pizza rolls are good. I need to start eating these more often. When we were at Aldi yesterday, Lucas mentioned to me, why aren't pizza rolls a trendy item? For example, if you go on Twitter, you're gonna see one tweet tweet about, I only eat Taco Bell at night because it's like one of those foods you only eat at night. But I don't see anyone joking about pizza rolls. Pizza rolls, like, they're so good. Didn't we all have them as children, right? I, feel, I kind of am starting to feel like it was just our family because why aren't they talked about more? Like, why isn't there SNL skits every week about pizza rolls? Yeah, because I remember, it's always a nighttime thing. 10 o'clock at night, fill up pizza roll. No, fill up plate with pizza rolls. How they dab a ranch in the corner. That was my go-to. And like, and like, this isn't me trying to be like, relatable. Like, that actually was my go-to. Okay, so since Lucas tried them, I'm gonna let you put your input in, but uh, I'm saying Aldi because same. I the taste bottle. They same. Taste, like, okay, the, 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 somehow the knockoff, I literally started stuttering because I'm so excited. The knockoff is butter. Like, it tastes butter. They took what pizza rolls did and made it better. That's what's good about being a knockoff brand. You can expand upon the original idea. But then it scales me being myself. What if I have a group of friends, but then someone, someone pretends to be me and makes it butter. And then well, I don't have any thing. friends. That's why sometimes you have to be stressed. Because, like, that could happen right now. Someone could dress up as me and... And start and be a better version of Jacob. Yeah, that's what you always need to work to be the best of you. <laughs> Congrats, Ali. It's it's one to one right now. Like they both have two points. La la la. The video is gonna continue, but I feel like I'm about to sneeze. If you look at the light, doesn't that do something? Like like Jesus is in this room. No, it makes like you stop sneezing. Where's Jesus though? Because he's the light. Is he in here? No, I don't allow him in here. Now we have Takis. I'm not really a fan of these, but I did it for the people watching. For you. For you, actually. Because everyone on the internet says they're a fan of Takis, so I'm assuming like you guys are. Like you are. Right? Aldi brand is 218 and actual Takis are 279. Aldi brand is called To... Tokitos. No. To... To... Taquitos, right? Yep. Alright, sorry, I almost, I had a mess up there. Uh oh. The bag is hard to open, I'm already mad. They look like actual Takis. From my experience trying Takis, they taste similar. Okay, what I'm about to do is one of the most 
amazing things that our creator let us do. Love what you think our creator is. Okay. Having dust on your finger and licking it like this. That's one of the joys of life. Uh, it's just like... Okay, keep some to you, Sarah. Open up. <laughs> I think as I get older, I have a high, higher tolerance to spice. Whereas when I was in sixth grade, I was like dying when I tried this. Do you like it? Yeah, it didn't really have much flavor though. Okay. I'm not trying to hate though. This is a thick one. Oh, this looks so much better. You gotta admit. No, that's so much more flavor. Yeah. They're a tiny bit spicier, have more flavor of like the lime or whatever. <laughs> Mark my words, maybe this is out anything and I'm not aware, but eating chips is gonna become cool. <laughs> I, I just don't ever really eat snacks. I just eat like my, I just eat like males, you know? I'm more of like that type of person. Something about like just having a bag of chips and just like talking to someone. I'm like skipping dinner to eat chips. It's cool. Can we admit it? One of those people who like for lunch at work goes to the vending machine, gets a bag of Takis. Like that is cool energy. Yeah, and it's like when you're eating and talking to them, like doing this. Oh yeah, and at the end doing that thing where you put it all against your mouth and dump it. Like this thing? <laughs> no, you put the bag up to your mouth and dump oh. it. <laughs> I can't believe how thick those Takis are. No, actual Takis are 50 cents more, which doesn't seem like a lot of money, but if you buy Takis once a week because you're a Taki fanatic, would add up to $2 a month. Two times 12 is, what the? 24? <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I'm not that dumb. No, I'm not dumb, I'm smart. 24 times 10, $240 every 10 years, which like, over time, like prices are gonna keep going up, you know? 240 is like a, probably a one day pass to Disneyland. Even though I just said all that, actual Takis are way flavorful. They won. I'm happy for you. I am Takis. La la la. Now we have peanut butter puffs. The Aldi brands are $2.95. The Reese's ones are $3.49. We all have seen the commercial. Reese's puffs, Reese's puffs. And then something else. Wait, is that real? Yeah. I thought you were kidding when you said that. When we were kids. I, I remember it being a moment like they were everywhere, like the advertisements, but yeah. I don't remember if there was jingle or anything. Yeah, it was like Reese's puffs, Reese's puffs. You know. They like never fell off. Like go with them for maintaining it. A lot of bitches fall off after a year. I know, but they didn't. I just love how they were like, let's create a candy into a breakfast food. Genius idea. Well, they looked around at the audience and said, this is what they probably want. <laughs> I forgot about those games on the back of cereal boxes. <laughs> oh, sometimes cereal boxes would come with a prize in the inside. The original Reese's Puffs have way more color. Oh, they're more pigmented. I don't care, but maybe one of you guys cares. Mmm. I wanna do my research and find out what that powdering coating on Reese's Puffs is. It's always been there. Do they like put little traces of like illegal drugs on it so I'm addicted? <laughs> Remember when I wanted to start eating Reese's Puffs like for breakfast and I Googled it and one of the ingredients causes ADHD or something? <laughs> oh yeah, and we all ate it as kids. So, oh like, yeah. That's why we have like, we can't watch videos anymore. Movies, I mean. I love you, Aldi. You're like a great place. You have many unique items, but they miss the mouth. It has way less flavor. This honestly <laughs> tastes like a healthier version of, version of Reese's Puffs. Looking at the ingredients, they're pretty similar. So, but yeah, but somehow Aldi messed up. So Reese's Puffs wins. There are a bunch of trolls over at Aldi. General Mills. And then this one is Millville. Like they are just trolling at that point, like asking like, are you gonna sue or not? I know, cause this is, it's literally a replica. La la la. Now we have some Rice Krispie treats. The Aldi were 2 dollars and the actual Rice Krispies were $4.49. With that being said, this has eight, this has 16. So at the end of the day, they're actually kind of similar in the price department. It would be 25, 225. Yeah, still the Kellogg's is more expensive, even if we did like pry, price poor, poor item. This is another one where it's like, they're literally using the same text. Okay. Before I even try these, somehow you can never create a Rice Krispie at home that's as good as these Rice Krispies. 
They have the flavor, a secret ingredient actually, that makes them taste so good. Also, I know it's not good for the environment, but that little individually p wrapped package adds so much. I feel like we need to cherish them. I could see in like 50 years this isn't a thing. Like individually wrapped? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like, it'll be bad for the earth. Well, it already is, but you know. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, like, well, actually. No, is it? <laughs> 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 Wait, just from my view, the um, Rice Krispies original look thicker. But are they actually? Yeah, it's more thick, but these ones are more long. So it's girth versus length, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna go in with name brand. So good. So good. Aldi. There's a hole in my Rice Krispie. Ew. Wait, let's get a close up on that. Yeah, a, a hole. Honestly, you probably could too. If you're a loyal watching, you can email me. No, I'm just joking. I have no plans to see you, Ali. You know, we all make accidents. What? I like, no offense, but like, looking at that is like, pathetic. Why? Granny you can't be a hater. Okay, I don't want to add, I don't want to fuel you anyway. These have a big butter flavor. The true winner here is the original Rice Krispies. It's only like um, a sump more per individual Rice Krispie. It's way more soft. I was about to cry because it's getting emotional in this house. This one was hard. Um, it just is, it's butter, the original Rice Krispie. So congrats, Carl Lagos. You're gonna keep making more money. La la la. Now we have ketchup. Tomato sauce. The Aldi one is $169 and the Heinz one is $339. This one wasn't $339. This is a big one. I mean like the one that's this size is $339 for Heinz. I feel like even though I don't know consciously, I'm really particular with my ketchup. Ew. Okay. <laughs> ketchup boy. <laughs> I'm just ghost out. Like, like, like I did it because I had to test it out. But I'm, just, I'm just not a person to eat ketchup alone. If you are, that's fine. Like, it tastes like ketchup. Like, what am I supposed to say? Like, why are you guys forcing me to say things I don't want to say? <laughs> yeah, this one's a quick and easy response. This is no thinking. Get the Audi brand. It's cheaper. Like, you don't have to. But I'm just saying, like. If you actually want to listen to me, I'm a 20 year old man. I don't have a college degree, but I really am. Um, I feel like I know a lot about food. They taste exactly the same? Yeah. La la la. The Aldi brand Pringles were 109 and the actual Pringles were 199. With that being said, the actual Pringles are way bigger. If for some reason you can't see that. That wasn't me making fun of blind people. I was just saying, like, if you didn't notice. Like, I don't even think of you making fun of blind people. Oh, that means I gave up the vibe of, like, if you can't see. Like, I was grossed out. It was actually just me saying, like, oh, like, if you didn't notice. I'm just grossed out by the Pringle one, because how is your hand going to fit down there? Once you get to the bottom of there, how are you going <laughs> to... Your whole fist is in I think you have a, up to your, your elbow deep. <laughs> oh, it feels a little, like, infographic. Not infographic, but, like, a little joke of Pringle singing. I just Clancy's. don't get how Pringles didn't trademark the shape. I know, so many other brands, not even knockoff brands like Lay's, have cylinder chips. I'm not gonna have to, I only want one. Can I tell them? Yeah. These very much taste like Lay's potato chips. They aren't giving me Pringles. They're, of course, good. I expected it to taste like Pringles since they're in a can. Wait, is it British? Potato crisps instead of chips? Oh, what? Aldi. I'm in the U.S. right now, not in Britain. Make it American. No, I'm joking. I'm fine with that. I think Audi is a European brand. Let's try a Pringle. What? I feel like I have to try it now so I try the other one. These aren't good either. Pringles, I don't even People hyped them. There's literally zero flavor. I think we like the sour cream and onion ones. <clears throat> That's the thing. I, I need some flavor. I need some like barbecue, some <laughs> Pringles, I spit by the way, but um, Pringles has a pizza flavor or they uh. used to and like, that's good. It doesn't, it, it doesn't taste like pizza. It is just good. Do you agree when I say Audi one? Oh, they had way more salt in a good way. Yeah, the reason why, that's what I was gonna say. I'm voting for Audi because more sodium equals more goodness. Well, they actually don't have 
more sodium according to the nutritional info, but they are, they taste saltier. Congratulations, Audi. Like, Pringles, they, they taste so similar. La la la. Well, on to fake cheese. I'm saying it's fake cheese because everyone on the internet said it's fake cheese, but me personally, I'm actually part of a Reddit community that we're trying to um, have politicians sign bills to say this is real cheese. But I'm just gonna say what the general public thinks, it's fake cheese. Audi brand is 339, no more is 329. But Audi has 24 slices, Kraft has 16. So, you know, it's actually cheaper. Let's try the Audi first. Wait. I was not expecting this. So with Kraft singles, if you've had them, Sarah, these are individually wrapped. Ew! <laughs> I want to ruin the environment and get individually wrapped, but these aren't. That's kind of cute, but the only thing is... No, honestly, I actually like how they're not individually wrapped, if I'm being completely honest. But do you want to know what the thing is? What? The thing is, if you're gonna have them be free open like that, there has to be a package where you can seal it. Oh, There's that's no true. way to seal that, so you need a cheese box. Now you need to buy a cheese box. You 100% need, <laughs> need a cheese box? Is that actually a thing? <laughs> I mean, I don't, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> Because this is what I just was thinking. I was in this stressed out mood while Lucas was talking because I was like, okay, I'm gonna take it out. But then I probably wouldn't even be able to fit it back in here. Yeah, because it's all like, you know what I mean? You need like, you need like a lubricant or something. Cheese lube. So this has way less pigment. Uh, Yeah, this says it's American cheese, but this one does way, way less pigment. pigment. So I'm just gonna assume it's more real. Yeah, it tastes like Kraft Singles. I think I said this in a previous video, but eating <laughs> sliced American cheese reminds me of me being a dog because we always used to feed this to our dogs as kids. Even though I do eat it in real life, it just reminds me of pets. <laughs> this one is a simple and easy one too. I'm voting for Kraft. I haven't done the math, but I'm pretty sure it would probably at the most be half a something more per slice. If you're at Aldi though, get the um get this brand because it tastes the like exact same as the Kraft. But like, you're gonna need a cheese box. Yeah, you're gonna need a cheese box. But I'm voting Kraft. Congrats. La la la. Now we have paper towels. Fuck it. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I like know someone was thinking. You're abusive, Jacob. No, oh, yeah, I finally his verbal abusive sides coming out. He beats me up off camera. Okay. Wait. I'm reading the receipts right now, and these are both $3.99. $3.99, but then with this one you get two. So uh obviously the Audi brand's cheaper. But uh, did you see what Bounty says? It said it actually equals three. Hey, I never understood that. For example, toilet paper. They have all these ads saying. It's 12 rolls, but it's actually 36 rolls because we have three ply or whatever. But that doesn't actually save you money or save you anything because when you wipe your ass, I'm not doing a wiping ass class right now, but you're still gonna use one square or if you use two squares, you aren't gonna, like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, what's the point of this advertising? Like, well, I thought it, oh, it was, it was thicker. I thought it was really because it was thicker. Like, it actually does have more. Does it actually not, though? Oh, Oh, so yeah, okay. I am um, new that like it's thicker, but but it doesn't actually like it doesn't give you more paper. To, I guess if it was water though, it might suck up more. Well, yeah, I don't really know because then that one claims two equals five. <laughs> so <laughs> I can we just do the actual it's numbers? It's fake advertising. I'm calling it. I don't even know if that's true, but these brands are both green. They just like they literally copy. <laughs> Acting like I'm so mad. <laughs> I don't fucking care if they copy. You gotta respect it. I know. I respect the hustle. My, all my YouTube does it is copied from this one YouTube channel. Oh yeah, word for word. Yeah. I love opening things so aggressively. Like, it's like, cause I just like imagine. It's like a porn. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> you are scary. Okay, that one needs to be bigger now. No, that one needs to be bigger. It's difficult watching this footage. <laughs> I would say these are pretty much the same thing. 
But you guys can fight in the comments about it and I'm gonna respond. No, actually, I'm just gonna delete your comment if you say that these aren't equal. I'm literally gonna delete it. I'm gonna spun the date. Whenever I upload this video, the whole day is gonna be spun being mad at whoever comments that and like probably blocking your YouTube channel. So we have that Audi brand. They actually do this in commercials. I feel like I'm in a commercial. What I'm going to say is that the butter one would have less wetness on it. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. So let's just, now we're just gonna wipe the rest with the under the towel. Okay, what one had residue? No, what one? Okay, that has a lot. The bounty one. <sighs> if we keep wiping. <laughs> it looks like I'm just rubbing shit on these. <laughs> this is the Audi one. This is the bounty one. The bounty one does feel more durable. But I'm gonna say Audi wins, first of all, half the price. And it does the same thing. Right? Yeah, I think. I don't really know. No, I actually do know though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm um, Audi one. And the case is closed. La la la. Now on to yogurt. It's not Greek yogurt, it's normal yogurt. I know uh, everyone watching eats Greek yogurt because it's like cool and trendy. I eat regular yogurt and that's just how I roll. And I'm always gonna roll like that. And I, I don't really follow the trends, I just be myself. <laughs> <laughs> what was I even doing? I just got that butt up. Audi was 34 cents, Yo Play is 50 cents. So that's a 16 cent difference. Did you know that? No. <laughs> These are both blueberry, so it's like really equal. I would lick the top, but um, I don't want to make anyone aroused. <laughs> okay, dig in with the Audi. Oh, the Audi one is way more watery, and it reminds me of a cartoon. <laughs> what? Wait, is that a hair or a piece of plastic? It's a piece of plastic, right? It's for sure a piece of plastic. Um, we can't be too mad at Audi. I think it's just because there's glue being used to put on the top thing. And you eat a little bit of glue. Yeah, I mean, I think almost glue is non-toxic. So hopefully it was almost glue. Mmm, these are both like delicious. I'm trying my hardest to eliminate the <laughs> the glue grossness. That has nothing to do with what I'm picking. Yoplait one because it has way more blueberry flavor. It just tastes better. This just is more like milk with a little bit of blueberries. This is more of like a custard with blueberries. Congratulations, Yoplait. I do have to say, I hate the design of the Yoplait. Why is it thicker on the bottom, thinner at the top? It never made sense to me. It's honestly dumb. If I were to finish this, I can't even get the bottom. I don't know, is it trying to be cute or what? La la la. Now we're on to your favorite cheese. I know it's your favorite cheese. Cheese Whiz. The Audi brand is $2.29 and the original brand is $3.39. $3.93, I messed up. <clears throat> I don't like Cheese Whiz. I liked it when I was a kid, but I honestly, for the rest of my life, I'll probably only eat this two other times, I bet. It's not my thing. But is it your thing, Lucas? Um, yeah, it's the same thing. Like, when you're a kid, it's fun putting on crackers, but like, yeah. It grosses me out, actually. But I'm still gonna eat it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of a badass. I do things that, like, gross me out and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cheese whiz. It tastes like liquefied American cheese. This one's more white. It's American. Oh, this one's American. This one's cheddar. Audi tastes basically the same. It does taste different. Like it, it's for sure different than a normal cheese whiz. So if you love original cheese whiz, maybe stick to this one. But I'm gonna say Audi one, it's cheaper. If someone had it at their house and said, try some, I'd be like, yum. And like, so it, it won. La la la. Well, on to Doritos. Kubo Ranch, to be exact. Clancy's, the Audi brand is $169 and normal Doritos are $350. I have tried knockoff Doritos before and they're never as good. So let's see if this is the same. Can I try one? Yeah. Mm. I'm surprised. <laughs> are you surprised? It is like normal. 
the tiniest texture difference. The owl, the owl's a bit like crunchy. Yeah. Again, why are chips so cool? Mmm. This is difficult. No, I take back what I said. It's not difficult. Actually, what Doritos won. They are double the price. More than double the price, actually. So you are paying a premium, but they have way more flavor. Sometimes you gotta pay more to get more, and that's a luxury, babe. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. If you are Audi and you like, you want Doritos, they're like good. These ones are good. Yeah, you would never try them back to back. On their own, it would be good, but if you're constantly comparing them to iconic Doritos, then it's gonna be horrible. Yeah, even though this whole video is comparing, um, comparing would lead you to depression. Just a little side note. La la la. Now we're on to your favorite food. I just know it's your favorite food. Canned tuna! Audi brand, Northern Koch. Okay, that's, that's a good one. I like that name. It's 69 cents. <laughs> 69, 69, P, N. Ah, it always gets me, 69. And then the normal brand is 99 cents. Style kissed, canned tuna, smells kind of funny. <laughs> if you open canned tuna and you live with someone else, they're gonna know you are tuna. Okay, first we're gonna try the regular tuna. I have a feeling these are gonna be so similar. Yeah, it tastes like tuna. They do taste different. The name brand tastes more, has more flavor. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what the flavor is, but it has more flavor. Also, uh, this one I have to admit I am biased because when I used to be a tuna boy, <laughs> I remember being at Target or Walmart and I was like, I am gonna pay the extra 50 cents for the name brand because it grosses me out getting cheaper fish. Yeah, I get that. I'm voting for name brand. Okay, congrats. We've tested the 15 most popular Audi knockoffs. That's a total lie. These are my 15, but it, this isn't the internet's favorite 15. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for filming, Lucas, and bye.